Questions can be added with or without categories, but categories are the way that we calculate multiple scores as well as the total score. So if you wanted to give a score against diet or exercise or sleep, these are what you would set up as categories first before you add your questions into them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click add category and put the name diet. I'm not gonna worry about description or icon or color for now because these are just helpful defaults that get used later, but they're all easy to overwrite and easy to come back and edit later. Underscore logic, this is another one that you can just leave blank as well, and the system will use this top option as a default, which is that you add the category score to the total score. Nine times out of 10, that's the setting that you want, but we do also have the option to subtract the category score from the total or, or do nothing at all. Um, so if you've got subtract, then the total score for that category will get taken away from the, the total score. And if you have do not affect total score, then it, it just does nothing. We can present the score for that category, but it won't get added um, or do anything to the total score. I'm just going to leave it as that. And I'm going to go ahead and add one more just for the purpose of this video. call it exercise. Again, I'm going to leave those blank and like I said, I can leave that blank as well. It just picks the, the default option, which is to add to the total score. Now that I've got a couple of categories added, I'm going to add some questions. I'm just click add question under diet questions. We've got various different question types, but I'm going to choose yes, no, maybe and click next. So first thing to do is to type out your question. So I've already got this ready to copy and paste. Do you plan your meals? Category diet's already selected, but actually if you made a mistake, you can just switch category. And yes, no, uh, maybe already populated. You can switch maybe on or off, depending on if you want to use it. And you can always reword these as well or translate it into your own language. And then you can decide how you want those answers to score. So this is do you plan your meals in the diet category. For the purposes of this example, we want yes to be the correct scoring answer. So that's the answer that's going to add one point to the diet category. And if somebody answers no, then it does nothing. You can change this. You could actually have that as a minus one if you if you really want to penalize someone for saying no to that. Um, or you could make that a two or, or a three, for example, if you wanted to increase the weighting of this particular question against other questions. For now, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple and have yes as one. That's the first question added. I'm going to go and add a second question into the diet category. Do you find yourself easily giving in to unhealthy food? Now this is actually the reverse of the last question where no is technically the correct answer. So we want to switch those two around. Um, and we do that just simply by putting a zero in the yes score and one in the no score. And that's our second question added. I'm just going to add a couple into exercise. Sticking with yes, no, maybe for now. Do you typically do more than 10,000 steps each day? Yes, that's a good one. Let's weight that a two. Hit save. And let's just add one more question to this category. Do you use an activity tracking device? Again, another yes. So we'll hit save on that one. So that's two questions added to each of the two categories. I'm just gonna add a final question into the uncategorized questions. Uh, just to show how some of the different questions work. I think we'll go for a sliding scale question. Let's say, how do you currently rate your health? So it's uncategorized. We can pick the range from and to. This score is what is going to get added to the total score. It's not going to get added to any category score but it is going to get added to a total score and you can customize the label that shows on the low end and the label that shows on the high end. So they're the questions that I want to add for the time being. 
Next thing to point out is how we deliver the questions. This is how it gets delivered on the front end to your leads who are taking the scorecard. By default, we deliver the questions randomly. I quite like this option as it just kind of mixes everything up and, and perhaps disguises a little bit what's going on. Um, but if you have a specific order that you want them to be delivered in, you can choose that and you switch to this view and you can literally just drag and drop them around. Um, or you might prefer to deliver them category, question, question, category, question, question, and you can reorder within the categories. And you can even go over to the category section here and, and reorder the categories as well. So you can see kind of everything follows that order. I'm just going to switch back to deliver randomly for now. And that is how you add your questions. We can jump over onto the front end of the draft mode scorecard now and take a look, see how that looks. So I'm just going to fill in my name here. And here we are, first question. And it's gone over to the sliding scale question. And that's it, as simple as that. Deliver the questions, deliver the score against those categories that we just added.